I love wrapping Christmas presents, but for certain shapes of present, this method gets a bit more interesting and slightly cool things happen. So that's a standard cuboid shape. But if your present happens to have a completely square cross section at the end, like this, what you can do is first of all make sure that your paper comes halfway up the face, like this. And then, if you do the standard method of wrapping it round, putting a bit of tape on it, and then folding in the ends, you'll find that where the ends fold in, all the corners meet exactly in the middle, and you get this fantastic cross shape on the end, which, for certain patterns of wrapping paper, looks really, really nice. Another nice one is if your shape is an equilateral triangular prism, like this Toblerone. Other equilateral triangular prism shaped chocolate bars are available. What you can do in this case is make sure that your paper comes up to exactly the same height as the chocolate bar. You'll then find that if you do the standard method of wrapping it round, putting a bit of tape on and then folding in the ends, that the end of the paper will line up exactly and cover the entire triangular end. Look at that! It's beautiful! It lines up and covers it exactly. And in fact, if you don't want to put a bit of tape on the outside, you could even use some double-sided tape or glue to hold that end down so it looks completely neat and perfect. If your shape is cylindrical, like this one, you can also use a bit of maths to work out how much paper you need. So instead of doing anything tedious like rolling it around, I can use my understanding of the mathematical constant pi, because the circumference is pi times the diameter. So I know that I need to cut here in order to have the right amount of paper to wrap this cylindrical present. And let's see... Oh yeah, perfect! If your present is a square shape that's relatively flat, like this, and in this case there is an alternative method you can use that I think is really nice. Take a square piece of paper. The size of this square, the length of the edge, is measured using this object. So you take the diagonal, which we'll call D, and you'll also need to measure the height of the box, which we'll call H. The length of this piece of paper is now calculated by D plus one and a half times H. And then place your present on the paper at 45 degrees. You then fold in the two corners opposite like this, and you can put a bit of tape here if you want. You can then fold in the other two corners. You may need to do a little bit of kind of tucking in at the edges to make sure that's completely neat. But all four corners will meet exactly in the middle and it looks beautiful. It's simple, it's neat, and it just makes sense. And in fact, if you're feeling really super hardcore, you can just secure the entire thing using one bit of tape here. There you have it, the diagonal wrapping method. Merry Christmas, everyone.